Our true history destroys Bill Nye. Now, I don't really know who he is too much. I, apparently, he's supposed to be some smart guy from the States. Um, now, here he's trying to destroy Noah's Ark. Mr. Ham and his followers have this remarkable view of a, a worldwide flood that somehow influenced everything that we observe in nature. A 500-foot wooden boat, eight zoo... So, the reason why I say he's not too clever is because he goes through this whole video trying to debunk uh, that the flood even happened whereas what he should have done instead of going from the bible for example he should have went back to the original tablets yes there are original tablets and this is what he's saying the noah's ark looks like of course anyone that's like me has gone back and researched it you'll know that the actual boat was a round boat which i'll get to in a second and we know that because this guy here actually has the original tablets so he's talking about the tablets here now he is the curator of the british museum and actually has a tablet that says enki tells noah technically noah's bedroom wall um, about the oncoming not a flood but the tsunami that was due because of the ice shelf in Antarctica becoming loose so that when the Nibiru came back round it would f let it go and flood but flood as a tsunami which makes a lot more sense so have a listen to him believed in the Assyrian version there were people who stuck fast to the Bible so you had a tube or a coffin but of course at the same time everybody really knew uh, what Noah's Ark looked like <laughs> it's one of these things there's usually a giraffe looking out the window just to complete it. So, in fact, Ark thank So he's, what he's doing is make, take, making fun of people like Bill who didn't bother researching. Superb. <laughs> I'll just refresh your memory. The divine instructions specify 14,430 sutu. And this mathematician... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ex extra wine afterwards. So... This mathematician, and he did it several times, I used to do it several times and get it wrong. So basically he carries on and explains exactly what's written in the tablets, the tablets that you see there that they've got. Now, he explains exactly what they are and how they built the boat. So unfortunately, Mr. Nye didn't bother going back and researching to see whether or not there was original text that actually describes the boat, not like he thinks it is, but actually how it was. So, Bill sort it out i'm happy to have a debate with people like you um i doubt if you would but you know i'm more than happy so if anyone knows bill and wants me to sit on this show and debate i'm happy okay i admit i hate numpties so this person here is saying that no museum would agree with zachariah sitchin i'm sorry this person's a numpty because i can prove that they do agree with zachariah sitchin so, and enough, no more people, no more saying that Zachariah Sitchin was wrong, please, enough. Okay, so this is in Zachariah Sitchin's Lost Book of Enki. Listen to this. The oath not breaking, the Lord Enki, not to Susudra, but to the hut's wall, spoke. Wake up, wake up, to the reed wall, Enki was saying. From behind the reed screen, he was speaking. When Susudra by the words was awakened, to him Inky from behind the reed screen said, Reed hut, reed hut, to my words pay attention, to my instructions heed pay. Okay, so that's Zachariah Sitchin. Now this is the British Museum, who, don't forget, Numpty said that no museum would agree with Zachariah Sitchin. This guy is the curator of the British Museum, Ivan Finkel, and these are the actual tablets he has in their possession. So listen to what he says and reads from these tablets. It's easily arranged. It's very easily arranged afterwards. Wall, wall, read wall, read wall. Atra Hussis, pay heed to my advice that you may live forever. Destroy your house, build a boat, spurn property and save life. So as you see, virtually identical. Um, obviously different people have slightly different translations but it's backing him up it is backing Zachariah Sitchin up so whatever information you got from whatever numpties you got it from feel free to always come to me if you want the real information I have sometimes been asked why the Anunnaki didn't build roads big buildings, cinemas, trains all these kind of things 
There was actually only 900 of them when they first arrived here. 300 stayed on Mars, 300 in Mesopotamia, and 300 in the Abzu, which was South Africa. So trying to make a road system, etc., with just a few handful of Anunnaki wasn't doable. And not only that, they were here for one reason and one reason only, gold. So then people say, well, what, hang on, why didn't they teach us how to build stuff? Well, they actually did, which is why we end up being as smart as we are now. If the Anunnaki's got flying craft, why didn't they bring down or create futuristic cars? Again, on their home planet, we assume that they had cars, but they may have just had creatures that actually rode. I mean, we used to ride horses until we actually got cars. Let me tell you a true story about aliens coming to Earth, and you're going to want to know the source, which I will give you at the end of this video, bro. So there was a planet called Nibiru that came from outside our solar system and its four moons smashed into a planet called Tiamat that was between Mars and Jupiter. Now then when Tiamat got smashed up it formed the asteroid belt, it formed Earth, it formed uh, the moon and also there's still mini asteroid, uh, mini little planets in uh, the, the asteroid belt that it created called, there's one there um, so it's not just rocks in the asteroid belt, there's many, many planets. Now the source of the information is these tablets here. This is called the Umarilish, it's in the British Museum. There's many other of these tablets around the world. And if you say they're fake, then there's no hope for you. There is no such thing as an Anunnaki or an alien. We've all been lied to. All those hundreds of thousands of stone Sumerian tablets and papyrus, etc., that all actually follow on over centuries, all talking about the same um, characters, e.g. Poseidon, Neptune and Enki are all one of the same. They're all just, you know, written for a giggle over hundreds of thousands of years by different people in different languages, talking about the same people. It's a pretty good story, but it's still fake. Where are those tablets? Where's the tab? Show me the tablet that actually says the Anunnaki got upset mining gold and they complained to Enlil, which was Zeus, and eventually Enki decided to create uh, a worker race called humans. Where's those tablets? You're lying. They're always somewhat... Hang on a minute. Is this the tablets? And it's in the British Museum. This particular one is called the Astrohasis. And this one tells you about... Yeah, it does. Wow. Mind blown. This person's referring to the ancient Sumerian tablets where there was hundreds of thousands of them written over thousands of years. This person's saying that in the future, if someone found thousands of these comic books, uh, therefore they would believe that our history had, for example, Superman in it. But, unfortunately, this numpty didn't really think it through. The difference between a comic book is there's hundreds of thousands of printed versions of one comic book. We're talking about Sumerian tablets with hundreds of thousands of these over different locations, not just tablets, but papyrus, which all talk about the same story written by different people over thousands of years in different locations, still all talking about the same story. So it's not just one comic book, for example, it's hundreds of thousands of these, all matching up, talking about Enlil, Enki, etc. So hopefully that makes more sense now to everyone. Let's use some logic here. If the giants were real in ancient times, and they were the sons of gods, in other words, uh, the Anunnaki had relationships with humans, as says also in the Bible, that they ended up producing some giants now not everyone was a giant you know we had demigods etc but not every uh, anunnaki descendant was a giant and that leads me my own personal belief that they had gigantism so let's have a look now enki just so happens to have trident poseidon oh yeah trident and neptune are all one of the same people and if that's the case then that means Poseidon would have had children occasionally that were giants in Greek times, and yes, he did. There is Orion, there's Otis, and there was, uh, I'm terrible at pronunciations, Lastricius. So it all makes sense. Breaking news, you're going to hear this first from me, and then eventually other people will start copying me. Uh, so this is a scan of a city uh, buried city in Bolivia Amazon and this city 
is built in concentric circles as you can probably see there this is obviously underground hidden but it's uh, been picked up by lasers etc now if you look at the concentric circles where else have you heard of concentric circles yes atlantis now if you've watched my previous videos you will know that i am the person that has told you who was on atlantis and if we go one step further from the concentric circles to a sumerian city wow doesn't that look the same as the other two uh, obviously that's all buried and everything else but there is in concentric circles so once again our true history has matched the anunnaki to be in the bolivian area everything is connected in a world you thought you knew one book will change the way you look at life forever. 30 years of research explains how Earth was smashed into. Discover the real name of the alien race we call the Anunnaki. Learn why everything started in ancient Mesopotamia, now modern Iraq. Examine the proof between humans, Anunnaki and Egyptian rulers. You will find out that there were real giants living with humans. The pyramids were not tombs. They were technical devices built by aliens and man. Do you believe the dinosaurs all died out millions of years ago? Think again. on the dark side of our moon. Understand who really controls Earth. Crop circles are not just created by man. Look inside the book and discover the mysterious forces at work. Bigfoot is not a myth. They are real and connected to aliens. Everything you need to know and so much more at your fingertips. Available from Amazon, Kindle and OurUntoldHistory.com